Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Timmy Treacle, also known as Horror Fan for Life. And today I have a TV show review for you guys. Now, this TV show is an older one. Uh, it came back, uh, came out back in 1998. Uh, the TV show I'm going to be reviewing for you guys is Dawson's Creek. Now, this movie, excuse me, this TV show ran for six seasons. For a total of 128 episodes. Uh, it's a, a romantic teen drama. That went from 1998 to 2003. It currently holds a 6.6 .6 out of 10. On IMDB. And an 86% on Google. The first episode. Uh, was released on January 20th. 1998. Uh, the first season I believe ran for. 13 episodes, each episode uh, running for 42 to 45 minutes. <clears throat> and that's throughout its run. Each season after that consisted of um, 23 to 20, 22 or 23 episodes, with uh, season 6 ending with 24. Uh, the show stars James Vanderbeek, uh, Katie Holmes, Michelle Williams. Joshua Jackson, Mary Beth Peel, um, and many others. The show, the four main staples of the show are um, you have uh, Joey, uh, played by um, Katie Holmes. You have Pacey, played by Joshua Jackson. Uh, Dawson, played by James Vanderbeek. And... Um, you have Jen, played by Michelle Williams. And uh, this is going to contain spoilers. So if you haven't seen Dawson's Creek, like myself, uh, definitely don't watch this review until you watch it. Uh, if you're looking for a grade, I'll go ahead and tell you that uh, I gave this series a 10 out of 10 and two thumbs up. So that's what you're waiting for. There you go. But we're going to get into spoilers here. The show starts off uh, season one, episode one, where we meet a uh, new neighbor, Jen. We also meet our main characters of uh, Dawson and Joey, who at 15 years old, they're sophomores in high school, and they are uh, hanging out in his room. And... Uh, he is a young uh, person who not only loves movies, but wants to be a director. Him and his best friend, Pacey, work in a video store. And uh, Joey lives with her sister and her child. Uh, Jen is coming from New York. Uh, her parents sent her out to live with her grandma at Cape Side. The show centers around Cape Side and the town. Uh, and there's a lot of drama <clears throat> between all these characters. Uh, they all uh, eventually end up dating uh, one another with the exception of, uh, of Dawson and Paisley. Uh, and there's new characters that are introduced throughout the series run. Uh, one of which... Uh, uh, Allie Lauder, who only appeared in two episodes, I really wish they would have kept her on board. Uh, even if in a recurring role, I would have loved to see her character uh, on the show. Maybe as an antagonizer or, or whatever have you. But I, I thought she would have been really great for that show as well. But regardless, um, early on in the show, uh, I kept track of some notes on some of the episodes uh, right off in season one uh, we find out that Dawson's dad is um, um, not he's not the greatest of dads but we also find out that Dawson's mom is cheating uh, and she gets caught by Joey Dawson finds out, and it, that drama happens. 
Uh, later on, I have the final episode. Uh, it is very uh, emotional. Um, Jelly visits her dad in prison uh, for the first time in a while. Um, uh, and then we find out uh, Jen's grandpa dies. And uh, I'm just going to tell you right off hand, there is going to be a lot of tears when you watch this TV show. I'm just going to tell you now. And the last two episodes I watched of season six uh, just didn't disappoint. I'm not going to spoil that. I'm not going to spoil a whole bunch. But damn, this is one great drama romantic series. And uh, I really wish this would have ran longer. But for the six seasons we got... This is a terrific show. And this debuted, I believe, on the CW uh, when it was released. And uh, I absolutely love this show. I can't say enough about it. I highly recommend you check it out. It's currently on Netflix as we speak. And, uh, yeah, this is... Uh, I've watched the show once now, and I, I gotta tell you, it'd be really hard for me to go back and uh, watch it again because uh, it is a tough watch. And uh, well, damn, uh, what a great TV show! The performances, uh, the writing, directing, the setting, uh, the, the creek where they live in Cape Sign is beautiful, just gorgeous, gorgeous. I would love to live uh, in a place like that. But, um, yeah. And like I said, there's a lot of um, uh, back and forth with relationships. Uh, Pacey uh, seems to me to have the most, not only relationships or uh, relations with uh, women in this TV show. And uh, yeah, this is, wow. Man. And then the first season, there's a uh, big time drama with. Uh, Pacey and uh, uh, a female teacher at school. Oh, man, it is, it is just crazy. There are a lot of great cameo appearances in this TV show. Uh, and I, I'm not going to spoil those because I want you guys to be surprised as much as I was. Uh, especially later on in the franchise in uh, season five and six, you're going to get to see a lot of... Uh, Familiar faces that have been on long running TV shows as well. Uh, I would say most notably uh, Supernatural, if you will. But nonetheless, this is a show I highly recommend you check out. Like I said, normally I would grade each season, but I love the whole entire show. I have no issues with this show at all. I loved every season. I loved every episode. And yeah, this is a damn fine show. So in the comment section below, give me your thoughts and opinions. Uh, did you like it, love it, hate it, think it's okay? Do you think it's overrated? Let's have a great discussion about this. Uh, other than that, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And if you like this review, hit that like button. And share this review on your social media as you see fit to you. Uh, other than that, I thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for many more movie reviews, TV show reviews, trailer reviews, top tens, and rankings. And uh, if you're a basketball fan like me, I'm going to be watching the Illini uh, take on Wisconsin for the Big Ten Championship. But thanks again for watching. And uh, stay tuned uh, tomorrow. Few days coming with some uh, newer movie reviews, and don't forget to check out uh, my new review of the movie Coming to America. Uh, you can check that out on the channel as well. But uh, thanks again for watching, and check you later.